Hi, Samantha. Thanks for sending another question. Um, to determine what this term is here, let's go ahead and again recall um, the formulas for a plus b squared and a minus b squared. If we have a plus b squared, this first term is going to be a squared. The last term is going to be b squared. That's going to be the case for both of them. And they're both going to have a 2ab in the middle. If you have a plus over here, you got a plus here, and if you got a minus here, you got a minus here. So applying that to our problem here, we know that this is a squared, this is b squared, and this term right here in the middle is going to be 2ab. It looks like we can figure out what b is right away. Well, if b squared is 49, then b must equal 7 because 7 squared is 49. And a, well, we don't know a. But we do know that 2ab is equal to 56x. So 2ab is equal to 56x. We know what b is, so let's go ahead and fill that in. 2 times a times 7 is equal to 56x. Let's go ahead and multiply our numbers together. 14a is equal to 56x. Divide both sides by 14 to solve for a. And that will cancel out, and the right-hand side will turn into 4x. So a is equal to 4x, and my first term in the box here is supposed to be a squared. So if I square 4x, I'll get 16x squared. Thanks again for your question, Samantha, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.